RNIB, supporting blind and partially sighted people. Ebooks for blind and partially sighted people. I'm Robin Spinks. Robin Spinks is partially sighted and an ebook expert. An ebook is an electronic or digital equivalent of a printed book, and you can read them either on a dedicated device, which is known as an e reader, or on a smartphone, or alternatively on a computer. In many ways, ebooks actually open up the world of reading for people with sight problems because it's possible to customize the font size, the background, the brightness level, etc. It's possible for people with sight problems to achieve a more comfortable um, and, and more suitable reading experience for them than it is with a printed book. I'm Jerry Gilbert and I work in Cambridge for one of the local societies for visually impaired people. Jerry is 44 years old and blind. My name is Terry and I'm 12 years old and I like using ebooks because they're much more accessible. Terry is partially sighted and likes using ebooks. My name's Colette Hasser. I love ebooks because it must be about, I suppose it's about four years now since I've been able to read large print. Colette is 39 years old and partially sighted. My name's Ian McRae. I'm the editor of a magazine called Disability Now. Ian is 59 years old and blind. I'm Kevin Morris. I live and work in London. Kevin is 42 years old and blind. Hi, I'm Scott. Um, I do a, a sort of bizarre mixture of working in an office by day and playing music by night. Um, so I do quite a bit of travelling and that's primarily when I read ebooks. Scott is 26 years old and blind. I like the Harry Potter books and I like the Twilight series. I read anything from crime to uh, comedy. It's all I've ever wanted is that she could just do what all the other kids do. I'm an avid reader and I've recently discovered the absolute joys of e-books. I have just started to use e-books to read for pleasure. Table of contents. I read it before I get to bed and I read them at school. It's something that takes up a lot of time in my life. They give me the uh, freedom to access printed books. It's just so nice, the joy of reading a book. Your imagination goes wild. Books are as important to blind and partially sighted people as they are to anybody. E-books have done amazing things in the last couple of years for blind and partially sighted people in terms of the sheer amount of titles that are available in some form of accessible format. I heard recently of a 90 year old who was given an e-book reader as a, as a birthday present uh, and he has never looked back. He's reading books, he's reading newspapers, he's reading everything that he wants to consume. You can read the latest novel at the same time as everyone else is reading the latest novel. I was having a conversation with a colleague in my office and he was telling me about a book that he was, he was reading at that moment. I went into my e-book store, I looked up the author's name, I bought his, his book and five minutes later I was reading that book. There are a couple of different methods of reading e-books. Um, people tend to even make the print bigger if they've got enough vision to, to make use of that. For people that can't see enough to do that, you can have books read out to you in like a synthetic kind of robot voice, which isn't as distracting as it sounds after a while. Library, button, table of contents, button. I would use this for um, accessing email, the internet, and also it has the ability to read e-books. The role of the e-book in, in opening up the, the world for visually impaired and uh, blind people is, is really important. It can keep you current with the information in the world that's happening and so there's a, a feeling of inclusion when you, you use an e-book. My favourite way, if it's going to be kind of an extended period of reading and I'm going to sit there for you know an hour or two and really get into a book is to use a brow display. There are kind of units that are like that big down to units that you can fit in the palm of your hand basically. A lot of blind and visually impaired children don't realise sometimes that they can read just like other people and it's something that everyone should be able to do. 
the quality of the screen is so clear. And the other thing is, it feels like a book. I remember one day sitting on a beach and all the other kids were running around and she was sitting on the top of a slide, completely immersed in this e-book reader, just absolutely lost. And it's, it's all I've ever wanted is that she could just do what all the other kids do. And the e-book reader has more or less allowed her to do that. The biggest problem I have with mine is my book is fantastic to read my books and they're absolutely great but I can't actually use this device unless somebody downloads the books for me. I think a lot of people would be very happy to, to uh, buy it after having tried it. All I can say is it's not a perfect field. Yeah, it really isn't. But because of ebooks, the, the amount of titles that, that are available to us now as blind and partially sighted people compared to two or three years ago is a huge difference. It's given me my job, really, if, if the existence of the e-book, the electronic text, if that wasn't there I wouldn't be able to do independently what I do for a living now. The menus are too small so I have to try and remember where they are. Sometimes I might press the wrong thing and turn it off or something. <laughs> Supporting blind and partially sighted people.